I'm Felix from Bavaria. Uh, here we have planted um, 194 trees. One tree for every country that is at the conference. But we didn't plant them alone. We invited all um, the ministers, the heads of states, um, to come outside to plant the trees of their country with us. We got one head of state that, um, that came out and planted with us and about um, 30 um, environment ministers. For Mexico, we had nobody um, that came out, so we had, um, but eventually we got the uh, mayor of Mexico City. Nice. And why, why are you doing this? Um, we children are planting one million trees in each country of the world. There are already children, uh, we're already in 91 countries. In Germany, we've already planted the million trees. And here with this action, we try to get um, the people inside the conference um, and want to tell them it's not enough to talk. Sure, these conferences are important because without um, conferences, we cannot get um, a world contract. But just talking without any action won't save our future. And it's your future you're concerned about? Yeah, when we, when we started four years ago, we thought we had to save the polar bear. Um, we thought we had to save the environment. But soon after we found out that it's about our future, that we have to save our own future. And so, if you were coming here to fight for one thing, what would you tell everybody it would be? Our future. <laughs> <laughs> if there was one bit of information you'd want the entire public around the world to know about what's happening here and about the environmental issues, what, what would you tell them? Mm. We have to force our heads of government um, to do something because they know exactly the problems we have and and they know exactly the solutions to all of these problems we just don't understand why they're not doing it they know everything but they're not doing it so we have to force them to do it and how can we do that how we can force them to do it. every every head of head of government wants to be um, re-elected. So this is definitely a chance how we can make them um, make a contract. So the people put pressure on the government or like how? We can definitely put pressure on the gov on our governments and we have lots of other um, uh, possibilities how we can um, get them to do something. Where do you find the hope to do this? Like your future looks pretty grim for many, many scenarios. There are lots of people that have done great things, like Van Gogh and Matai planting 30 million trees um, with many other women in Africa, or Mohammed Yunus, and lots of others. So if they have done, only f uh, few people have done so many things, then we, if children, if we work together, worldwide, then we can make a huge difference too. Okay, and uh, specifically at, at COP16, at, at this conference, is there an outcome you'd like to have? Um, definitely we could, the heads of governments could sign a world contract, a global contract here um, in this week. But I'm not, I don't really think they will do. Um, in Copenhagen, there was huge amounts of pressure from all over the world. Um, but now no one expects, no one expects a world contract. There's no pressure on the heads of governments. So if they haven't done it in Copenhagen with pressure, I don't think they will do, do one, get one contract here without. And do you think young people, kids, have as much power to you know, affect change as adults do? I think we do. How? Ask him what he thinks he does. Because right. he can't hear. We can't hear your question. Yeah. What um? Well, what kind of power do you think young people have compared to adults? I hope. I 
I don't think we have powers that the adults don't have, but I don't think, but on the other way, I don't think the adults have powers that we don't have. So kids have as much power to change the world as anybody? Yeah, the only difference between the adults and us children is that adults can vote, but the rest we can um, do as they can do. If, if there is one way to unite kids around the world for a cause and to get them to use their you know, talents and their initiative and their passion for good, what would it be? I don't know. <laughs> so one way how we can get them together or what? Yeah, like how, how can we bring people from around the world together to fight for this battle? If, every, if, we, if we tell people around the world what is going on, what is going on with our future, I think they will be willing to do something. Tristan, you got any more questions? Um, how many people are in your organization? How many kids are here? We don't know exactly how many are participating um, with plans for the planet. But there are surely, uh, I definitely m over 100,000. 100,000, that's amazing. And is Plan for the Planet something you created? Yes. So you created an organization that has 100,000 people in it? Yes. Ask him that again. Yeah, yeah. Could, could you tell me that in an answer? Like, so tell me about um, what kind of organization did you start and how many people have you got involved so far? Like, how? What, what's the name of your organization and how many people are involved? Um, the organization is called Plant for the Planet. It exists since four years. We, have, uh, we want to plant one million trees in each country of the world. By now, there are about 100,000 children in 91 countries involved. That's pretty inspiring to me. I, I see a lot of hope in that. If you, you can get 100,000 people in 91 countries to go out and plant trees, I think we might be able to turn this around and save yeah. things. Can you tell me, um, I'm looking for like an intro to you, so if you could say, my name is, and I've come to Top 16 in Cancun to do this, that'd be great. And, and how old you are? Okay. I'm Felix, I'm 13, and we came here to COP16 to plant trees with the ministers and uh, heads of states and um, try to make, try um, to force them to do something. And w what kind of message do you think that sends to everybody? Well, what kind of well, message would that send to the to the public or to the environment ministers planting trees out here? What message? With this, we want to have them understand. Probably they know, but we want to um, tell them that by talking alone, by just talking, they won't save our future. By talking, the glaciers won't stop melting and the rainforest won't stop disappearing. Is that why you started the Stop Talking, Start Planning campaign? Yes. That's amazing. Is that your idea? No, it was a communication agency. Communication agency? Oh my god, you managed to get a communication agency on board? Yeah, more than one. <laughs> more than one? Yeah, we had one communication agency and then we won a prize with the campaign. Yeah. And so we've got about five. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, you're inspiring. How did the whole idea start? The project started four years ago in my class in Bavaria. I was supposed to give a presentation about the climate crisis on the next Monday. And during the weekend, I prepared this presentation like every other. And I found out about Vangari Matai, um, who planted 30 million trees in 30 years in Africa with many other women. And at this presentation on Monday, I spontaneously said, let's plant one million trees in each country of the world. Just like that. Exactly. <laughs> and how close are you to doing that? In Germany, we've already planted the million trees. The children in 91 countries participating. Um, here in Mexico, they have already planted several thousand trees. So we will definitely, so it will be definitely be many more countries that achieve the million soon.
Well, what do you think is the biggest environmental problem that we face today? I don't think there's a biggest environmental problem. I think they are all interlinked. We have one huge problem. And it's not just the environmental problem, but we have the, um, the justice crisis is also interlinked. And we have most of the crises we have today are interlinked and that are together. And do you think humanity has what it takes to turn it around? I think we've, we, 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 um, we got the problem, so we will, we will manage to turn it around. Awesome. Anything else you want to ask? You, you, you're amazing. What, what's your website? How, do, how does everyone get involved? What's the process? Everybody that um, wants to participate can go on our website and every country has their own um, website and you can find um, your country's website on our main website. How could, well, what advice would you give to people that aren't doing anything beneficial to spur them into action to get involved? We can change something if we work together worldwide. So let's do it. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay.